Hello and welcome back to DSI. We're going to turn our attention now to the softball diamond with Mardella trekking into Snow Hill Wednesday afternoon, trying to upset the number one seeded Eagles for the second yeah. straight year, guys. And Mardella's Logan Genga, a name we're going to hear in just a bit. She's able to rack up an RBI single right to center field. Then Riley Niblett, she's going to hit another shot to center, allowing Genga to come around and score. Genga getting Good it done at bat. And then running, doing some base running as well. She scores. Then we're going to see Sydney Gertzen getting in the action a little bit. Hits a sack fly to right field as Niblett again. She's going to come in to score, make it a 2 to nothing game. But Snow Hill would respond very next inning. Anna Adams, she's going to shoot one into Oof. left field. And check this out. It's going to be missed by oh, the so outfielder sad. and center field. Tabby Boots turns and heads for home. <laughs> Make it a 2-1 to one ball game into the seventh now, finishing things off. Kelsey Hall with a short hit, but it's fielded cleanly and thrown over to first. Mardella wow. holds on and tops Snow Hill 2-1 to one to advance to the next round. Very impressive. North Carolina posted a perfect 21-0 record this season. Heading into the regional finals, they faced Rising Sun High School. They surrendered six unearned in the first five innings. Somehow managed to come back and make this a ball game. In Ridgely, 8-6 to six Rising Sun in the sixth inning. Runners on the corners there. Molly Dill deals from the circle. She strikes out Aubrey Strange. Then Bree Bishop was dominant under pressure. She struck out two in a big seventh inning. Then Allie Ward. Check this out. They come back to tie it up at eight. She lays down the bunt, does a beautiful job. The throw goes wow. first. It's no good. Azali Paro scores the walk-off run on a <laughs> Holy bunt, comeback. fellas. Look at yeah. that scene. The Bulldogs <laughs> take this thing in the East region, wow. nine to eight with the comeback walk-off bunt. How about that? Wow. That's a great How shot. About it? 22-0. Mardella taking on St. Michael's for the 1A region. First inning, Kaylee Atkins doubles to center. Sydney Gertson coming around to score. Next batter, thinking it's the easy third out here. Just going to slap it over to third. Overthrow. Oh, no. And another run comes around to score. 3 nothing in the first inning for Mardella. That's how you start. Bottom of the fourth, they add to it. Alexa Jones, nice. sacrifice. Warriors playing four in the fourth. They lead it 7 to nothing. St. Michael's fighting in the back a little bit in the sixth inning. Angela Cinchetti going to put a single just past nice. the infield. Saints play two in the sixth, but they leave the bases loaded, and that would hurt because Atkins would oh. shut things down from there. She makes the final out as Mardella wins it 7-2, to two, and they move to their second straight state final four. For it being my senior year, I really just, I'm not ready for it to be over yet. So I want to go as far as we can go, two more games, and I'll be happy. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> They're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't have done that, honestly? Everybody 17, 18 years minutes. old, uh, winning a championship in your home uh, building and feeling great, right? Absolutely. And they want their 15 minutes. 15 seconds, maybe? <laughs> Whatever it takes. All right, time for another commercial break. When we come back, we're taking things to Delaware. IR and CR battling it out for the Hen Open Championship. Some great goals here. Stick around and look at them. My name is Paige Blyer, and I'm the pitcher from Cambridge South Dorchester High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.